Hi. In this video, I'm going to take you through accessing the alignment option in Affinity Designer for iPad. Now let's have a look. The first thing I want you to do is open Affinity Designer on your iPad. We're going to set up a new document. Now in your new document, create your shapes as you may have planned. Now I've got nine little shapes there. Some of my best friends are monsters. <laughs> okay, now that you've got those, you can select the Move tool and drag a boundary to enclose all of your objects. Now this is important in later moves. There are, other, there are two ways of doing this. You can drag a bounding box around it or use the Layers panel. So check the Layers panel. Only one shape is selected, as you can see there. With all objects selected, the bounding box surrounds the objects and all layers are selected. Be careful if you've got duplicates in there that you haven't got selected because they will really throw um, your calculations out when you come to move them. Now select the Transform Studio, that's the little square box down on the right, where you will find the Alignment option. When you select that, the panel comes up and there's alignment options down the bottom. Tapping on the alignment option will bring up this alignment menu. And observe that each object is perfectly aligned with the one below it now, but not vertically. Well, sort of. It's only by selecting all of the objects that that far right hand option switches on. And auto align is naturally selected. The distribution options are only available if all options are selected. That one that the arrow points to, if all of your objects are selected, that's available. If only one object is selected, it's not available. And there we go. If only one object is selected, you only have a limited set of options to align the selected object with the boundaries or the centre which is fairly obvious because you can't align an object to itself, really, can you? And it doesn't know the other ones are there, so it's only got the top, bottom and centre, either vertically or horizontally. Now, the object has not been moved yet, as you can see. But if I tap on that, the Align Horizontal, the object is now been moved by the Single Horizontal Alignment option and it's placed it right over against the left-hand edge. Now here's a video walkthrough of it. Now as you can see, um, I've set up the document and I've got three, six, nine um, little beasties on the screen. They're in a reasonable order, but obviously they're not well aligned. So continuing with our tutorial, I'll take you through a live action uh, view of what we're trying to do. Now, firstly, we're on layers, and the bottom right hand one there is that one there. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven. We've got eleven layers in there. So you can see I've got one or two too many. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, I don't want those two. They must be duplicates somewhere. So let's get rid of that one. And we'll get rid of that one. Now there's exactly nine on the screen. So it won't throw anything out. Now, if we want to move all of them, we've got to select all of them. If we want to move one, we need one selected. So let's, let's select that one there which oddly enough in the layer of things is that one there. Now, to, to go to the, um, to the option that we want, we need to go to the alignment option here. You can see it's in that section there. And the alignment option is down the bottom here. You can ignore the rest of the things for the time being. You can flip it, or not, as the case may be. You can turn it to face that way if you like. They're the transform options. What we want is the alignment option. 
Now you can see in the alignment option on the right hand side here, they're greyed out. You can't select those ones, nor can you change auto because you only have one object selected and it's distributed horizontally or vertically and you can't change that. But you can move where it is. So let's have a look at this. We can go put him up the top or not. We can put him in the center or not. We can put him in the bottom or not. The same as horizontally. We can put him all the way to the right or not. Into the center or not. And to the left or not. Now, what do we do to get them all selected so that we can move them all at the same time? Well, this is a trick. You can do this. You can select each of the layers as I'm doing there because you might only want to select some of them and not all of them. Now that is the clock bonging in the background. Well, there you go, but never mind. There we go. Now, because they're all selected and you can see the bounding box around them, that this option on the far right hand side is now set and auto is no longer greyed out. You can actually adjust the auto. So distribute horizontally. Click that one. Now auto is still locked on. We can take it off. Now you see how it spread all of those things everywhere? Some right off the screen in fact. And we can bring them back in by scrolling up and down on that one. See how that's working there? Minus 49, auto is selected. Now what we want to do is distribute them vertically. Oops, we've got the same problem. Take auto off. And they're all over the place. Which is not really what we want, is it? Even with auto on, it's not really what we want. So you've got to be careful moving them around or you can they'll end up in an awful mess. Now there we go, I've taken auto off. And they're more or less in line. More or less. Now, there's a lot of work to be done there if you want to line these things up horizontally and vertically. You can certainly line them up horizontally and you can certainly line them up vertically. But trying to do both at once, oh yes, we've got problems there. The other thing I want to show you, without going too far into adjusting all of these things, you've got the other options, of course, align left, centre and align right. Align vertically, top, center, and bottom, and all of the ones distributed. Now, we'll go back to the layers, and we're on the move tool over here. We'll just click that off, so none of them are selected. See, none of the layers are selected. But what you can do to select them all is just draw a box around them. Now you can see they're all lit up, and there they are and all the layers are selected. Now you can, you can use that method to check if you've got duplicates too. Because if you do that and you've got duplicates in there, they won't be selected if they're underneath because you won't see them. Now, having got that there, you go down there to the Transform uh, Alignment Tool and you can distribute you see that's auto, that's selected. Oops, that's unselected. And you can adjust them as you, as you like. We select that one there. Take auto off and bring them back in. Mm, and you can see they're not going into line. But there we go, that'll do. Now that's all I want to show you for now. But that's how you access and use your alignment options in Affinity Designer for iPad.
Thank you for watching. Your subscription is very much appreciated. Click on the like, the thumb, give it the thumbs up. Um, that always helps. And subscribe, tap the subscribe button. Very much appreciated. It's what keeps me going. Thank you very much. And that is the end.